Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for your Star Raiders for Rack figure. Just a reminder, it is only the transformation process. The review is separately uploaded. And this also works for the Cyclonus and indeed Metal Hawk figures as well, which pretty much share the same mold. So before we get started, obviously, we need to take off the accessories. I've just done a video on him, so he's got both guns in his hands. And to be fair, you could probably keep these on, but I'm going to take them off just so you can see more of what I'm doing. It is a slight retool to the other figures I've just shown you and in my opinion i think this guy looks better but we're going to start off with taking the fists like so you can pretty much make out there that the forearms are going to open up this will rotate 180 degrees so the fist is hidden away and then the booster is there at the back same principle on this side just open up the forearm uh, it does help if you've got nails i unfortunately haven't so I'm going to try my best again, reaching around the camera to lift this up. There we go. Spin that around. There's the boost. And now look, you see, this is important as well, that it will only go around one way. So if it gets stuck, just go back the other way. That was, again, no real issues. Then what we're looking to do, I'll show you this closer. The chest here, these attach onto the side. Pull these out. These are just tabbed in by them giant tabs. Keep this back there for now. We're going to come to the top in a second. What I want you to do is turn your attention to the legs. Fold the feet down. Enough space to grab the whole back of the calf. Fold this out. And now you can tuck away the foot into the back of the leg and close over like so. So give yourself some clearance here. Lift up the back of the calf. Lift that up. Tuck the foot, the foot and the heel in. Bring this over clip into play now you can and if you want to push the legs up but i'm going to hold that for now what you then need to do is take this whole backpack hold that out hold onto the head and then take the whole chest out what you've got is the very clever now transformation process bit where you took the head away into there and then before you just start to tidy everything up take this fold that forward and then line this up that'll clip into there that will clip into there now you can close this over the top. You're going to then rotate this 180 degrees. So make sure you just have enough clearance to miss all of the legs. Now what you can do is hold on to the main body of the jet. A bit of pressure to slide the leg inside itself. So what you're looking at doing is that inside the knee there, there's all this space. So what you're looking to do is exactly this. Push the leg into itself like so. Join that big tab together and then you can see join that tab in there as well. Turn your attention to these arms, swing these around. This is all sort of pretty well made now. It's like a jigsaw. That tab there is going to tab into there and it also fits the profile of the back of the jet perfectly. Once you've done that, you can then take this wing on this extra hinge, fold this out. This is going to tab in there like so. And then this is going to fold out there as well. Same principle this side. Again, it's just really smooth, really fun to do. Fold that over, join that tab in, take the wing, fold this wing out, open up the extra part there, tab it into there. And then the finishing touch is definitely these. These make it look brilliant. Once again, as I say, you can see all this in more detail in the review. But that's how you get into the alternate mode. Stay tuned for the reverse transformation. So if we're going to take him back, let's take these off just to make it a bit easier and just start to disconnect things, to be honest. So disconnect the whole arm like so. You can keep that wing attached, to be honest. We can worry about that in a bit. Now, this sometimes happens if you take that there. Sometimes that will stay tabbed in, which is no problem. In fact, it'll actually help you out when you come to move the forearm out in a second anyway. What I'm then going to do, hold the main body of the jet, hold on to what we know to be the legs and then just forcefully pull these out because they will extend there you go on these hinges that was a bit tougher than normal but it is a brand new toy so that will explain that open up that take the back which is now of course the back of the jet lift this up you can now bring the feet out tuck that inside itself close that up same principle on this side open this up feet out first tuck this up into the back like so right there we go so now don't forget move these out of the way rotate in fact, I need to stand this up, fold these right out of the way so you can spin the roof. See, that's catching there, so I need to just lift that up enough on that hinge to rotate that 180 degrees. You need this at the top, otherwise you won't be able to pull that there and pull this at the front to open up, of course, where the head is going to be. You can see the head is there. Open up this part here, tuck this, fold it back on its own hinge, tuck it inside like so, close this up like so. 
bring the head around again it's just a revolving spinning round there's the head this will tab into there this will tab into the back and now it's just a case as you can see of tidying everything up huge tab huge cutout lift that up in fact i'll keep the arms exactly as they are so i can just go exist same again same tabs i've kept the arms up there so i can just spin it round. you can open up you can see there the forearm rotate this around remember it only goes the one way bring it round like so close that up and now you need to separate this part here like so and then to be honest you've got a bit of a choice you can fold this back you can keep the wing there but i'm pretty sure it looks better if you fold it all the way back on itself tuck that up and then correct the orientation of the arm same principle here rotate over the shoulder this thankfully is open for me bring the fist out close that up separate this part here and then this is what i was on about now if you wanted to you can keep that part up but take this hinge fold it over on itself and click it into place it's up to yourself now how you want these but again if you fold that back there it does look that bit better and of course again you can now attach your uh, extra blasters to the tips of the wings for a final touch oh as he says dropping it but there you go guys this was just the tutorial hope it helps you out hope it gives you a bit of an insight into the figure if you've never seen it before and don't forget the review with the blooper at the beginning on it is separately uploaded as well